Welcome back to part three of this video series. Today we will be addressing all the belt driven accessories on the front of the motor. In the previous video, we removed the air intake and filter housing, the battery, the coil pack, the upper intake manifold, some EGR hardware, the fuel rail, and we drain the coolant. And there we go. Now let's free up a little bit of space by uh, removing this upper radiator hose. Now we can remove the serpentine belt. It's an 18 mm on this tensioner pulley here. What counterclockwise, loosen it, and then just slide the belt off. <coughs> All right, the first thing that we're going to pull off is the alternator. This is a 13 or this is a 15 mm down here. So I'll just loosen this one for the time being. And we have a 13 up here. We'll want to remove this bolt completely. Once that bolt is out, we should be able to swing this, and that will give us access to the back side of the alternator here where we can undo the electrical. Okay, on the back side of the alternator, we have uh, three electrical connectors that we need to remove. Uh, this one can be removed just by putting in a little blade, prying out, and then up on it. On this one, we need to Pry this little tab outward, and then that comes right off. And then we got a rubber boot on the main connector here, and that's a 10 mm. And then that just comes right off. Finish removing the alternator by removing this lower bolt, the 15 mm bolt. And this should just pull off now. The next accessory to remove is the power steering pump. However, it will involve the need for a specialty tool in order to remove the pulley. Pictured here is the one that I am using. You can rent this tool for free from stores like AutoZone and O'Reilly's. Here are the specific parts from the kit that are needed for removal. The pulley must come off before removing the bracket bolts since they are blocked by the pulley itself. Okay, the uh, collars for this kit, as you can see here, it has a, a small side and then a much broader side. It's the small end that actually goes around the, the pulley there. So the way you do this is just put that over the edge, put the there and small edge there. And then there's a collar that you place over it, holds it all in place. Then you can tighten it up snug and then we'll just twist it off. Okay, and then you want to hold this part with a crescent 
while you turn the inner portion of it here. This may require a little extra leverage, so I'll put on a part there too. And then you just keep until it comes off. And there we go. And here it reveals the bolts that we need to get to to remove this bracket assembly. All right, now let's take off this power steering bracket brace. These are 15 mm here. And then we got 13 here, deep socket. Okay, and this will reveal a couple more hidden bolts down in this region. All right, uh, I apologize, but there's uh, four more bolts down here that I cannot really get a good view of. But uh, take my word for it, there is a uh, 118 mm bolt down there, and uh, three 15 mm, bolt, mm bolts down there, um, one of which is a nut on a stud. So we'll start here with the uh, 18, it's located down this lower region. There we go. For a long bolt. And we'll change out here to a 15 mm. And then grab the rest of these. The one located in this upper portion here is the nut. It's on a stud. There we go. Just this guy here. And then there's two more bolts, one located here. This guy. And another one down here. There we go. Let's see it come loose there. <coughs> Okay, now I think this power steering pump is free, moved. So yeah, let's pull it off the stud here, and then we can just set it aside. Okay, now we can remove the stud from this head. Obviously, it's going to cause some clearance issues with the EGR tube when we pull the heads off. This here is just a, the end of this stud is a 7mm. Slide seven and then on there and push it out. Now we can move over to the other side of the motor and remove the uh, AC compressor. Um, we'll start here by pulling out this electrical connector. Just put in a screwdriver here and 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 just pry that up and out. And then there's four 13 mm bolts holding the compressor. Okay. Now these guys out. And just lift this away and set aside. Okay, now let's get the AC compressor uh, mounting bracket off. This is a 10 mm here. Pull this. pull this tube off first. Okay, that gives us better access. 
boot can in here. And that held on part of this um, EGR bracket. And we'll move over to a 15 mm. And then there's three bolts holding this uh, nine bracket and tensioner on. So I'll go ahead and remove those. Alright, I had forgot, but the uh, upper bolt up here is actually a stud that goes through this bracket that holds part of this EGR assembly on. So we're going to have to pull that off first. So let's start here. These are uh, 10 mm. Alright, now we have access to this stud that holds on the upper portion of this. There we go. And we can pull it away. Alright, as you can see here, now that we have all the accessories off the front of the motor, we have much better access to things like the EGR and the exhaust manifolds, which we'll address in the next video. Alright, that's all the time I have left for today. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and address the exhaust manifolds, the lower intake manifold, and the EGR. See you next time.